If you're a barber, you know that time and customer service are two of the main things that contribute to your success. So today, I want to go over some common practices that you may be doing wrong, as well as give you some tips on sanitation. And don't worry, if you've been doing some of these things, they're easy fixes. So let's get right into it. Now this first one is very common, and that is the use of neck dusters. And this is also referenced in the Milady Standard Barbering book. Neck dusters are no longer deemed sanitary to be used in barbershops. So what you can do instead and use as an alternative to a neck duster is you can either get one of those big chunky air compressors or you can do what I did, one of these. This is a cordless air duster. So with this neck duster, this neck duster is touching multiple clients and this traps hair. So where's the hair going? It's going from one client to another. But with this, there's a clip and you can get the hair off the client with no contact. And you can get this on amazon.com for about 70 bucks. Okay, moving on to number two. Now while we're on the topic of air compressors, we're gonna move on to a cordless air compressor. So like I said, those air compressors, they have those long cords and they may get tangled up. You have to lug them around and then they come on and make that loud noise. But with this, you just, it's handheld. Only thing you have to do is recharge it. I recommend that you purchase one that's at least $50. You can find some really cheap ones for about 20, 25 bucks, but I would run away from those if I were you. I almost forgot. You have to make sure that the mixture is not as thick. So when you're mixing it, you, you may have to use just a little bit more alcohol because I found that if you, if you leave the mixture too thick, it won't come out as smooth. So when I mix it, I mix my ratio about 65% alcohol and 35% enhancement. Okay, now this next one is really, really, really popular. And that is the curl sponge. This right here, the thing that you see every barber using. And I know I may step on some toes by saying this, but you should not be using these on multiple people. Now this is a great item to sell to individual clients because the reason you don't want to use this on multiple people, hair gets trapped inside of this sponge. So what you're doing, you're only transferring loose hair from one person's head to another. Now what you can do instead, and I know you've seen me use this in several videos, the twisted up comb. So this is a great alternative. As you can see, you can easily disinfect this. You can easily spray this with an aerosol disinfectant, but how can you disinfect this? You literally just have to throw it away. Just think about it. If someone has lice in their head and you use it 10 times a day, well, you just gave 10 people lice. So if you guys are faithful followers of this channel, you will know that one thing I'm very adamant about is the comb and brush debate. You very rarely see me use a brush when I am doing a haircut. I will use a brush if the person has waves, but I can guarantee you that this brush has been disinfected before I put it on their head. So you would more than likely, 10 times out of 10, see me using a comb to do any type of fading or combing through the hair. When you use a comb, you actually lift the hair off of the scalp, and that way you're cutting the true length of the hair. When you're using a brush and you're brushing the hair, brushing puts the hair in a curled state, so you're not really cutting down the true length. So that's why I like using combs. Now, like I said, if the person has waves at the end of the cut, then I'll use a brush to lay the hair down. But while I'm fading, I don't like using brushes. But, but the major problem is people use the same brush on different clients. Or you'll see barbers with those small brushes, so they'll fade and then brush the hair with those little small brushes. I guarantee you they do not disinfect those brushes after every client. Combs are very easy to disinfect. That's why you have your barbicide. So whenever you use a comb, drop it in the barbicide for 10 minutes, get another one out. It's so simple. And if you're going to use brushes, make sure you have a lot of them. Now with this next one, I must admit, I have been guilty of doing this myself. It's so convenient, it's quick to do, but technically it's a no-no. And that is, when you're applying product to someone's head, you just quickly reach into the jar, dip your finger in there, put it in your hand, and then put it in the client's head. The problem is, nine times out of 10, when you're doing a haircut and you're applying product, you probably still have some loose hair on your hands. And when you dip your finger into that tub, you just contaminate the tub of moisturizer or whatever you're using. Instead, what you want to do is, you want to use a spatula. So a wooden spatula, easily just put it in your hands and then apply it to the hair. So no more dipping your finger in the product, use a spatula, get what you need, and then close the container. And then dispose of the spatula once you're finished. So I saved the best for last for you guys. And I know a lot of you are gonna appreciate this in the comments, just because you may not have known about this, but it's a really good tool to use. And this is really emphasizing the sanitation part about barbering. So of course, with the COVID-19 pandemic, there's been 
a heightened level of awareness about sanitation. So one thing that I picked up to really help me with sanitation, and that is a steam cleaner. The reason that I purchased a steam cleaner is just because of its multiple uses. You can use it to disinfect your barber chair, your workstation, your tools. It can even disinfect brushes. And when I tell you this steam cleaner will disinfect anything. Now, one thing that I have to say, since the COVID-19 pandemic, the demand for steam cleaners has shot up and so has the price. Now, they can range from about 200 to over $1,000, just depending on what kind you get, but you can find that sweet spot and get what you can afford. And your clients will really appreciate you using this, especially if they see you using it to sanitize your equipment, and I promise you, it will pay off in the long run. Well, there you have it, guys. If this video was helpful to you guys, I ask you to smash that like button. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Barber Style Directory. That's at Barber Style Directory, and I will see you guys on the next video.